How is it hanging, my doggies? It's Elite Gamer Spark again here, coming at you at hyper speed with another stimulating tutorial to satiate your seemingly endless desire for knowledge, growth, and everything in between. Today we're going to be talking about how those fancy shield drop notches you paid good money for are likely making shield dropping much harder than it needs to be if you play on UCF, which everyone in the current day does. So what UCF actually does is firstly, it checks to see if your control stick is held against the rim and your shield is angled in such a way that shield roll in that direction is impossible. Second, once it confirms both these things, it lowers the spot dodge threshold from negative 0.7 to negative 0.8. Unfortunately, for controllers with notches that happen to be of values negative 0.6500 and above, UCF doesn't help you shield drop in any way, and you'll be stuck holding shield on the platform regardless of which version you play on. In vanilla melee, you'd only have these three values to shield drop, but with UCF, we unlock eight more shield drop values, listed here. This will allow for a lot more controllers to be able to shield drop decently well, but it still means that for some, it'll be much easier than others. What I mean by this is if your controller's diagonal notches are of values closer to the middle shield drop value of negative 0.7250, shield dropping with that controller is extremely trivially easy. However, if your controller's notches are closer to the edge values, it'll still be a pretty technical maneuver that you have to be pretty precise about in order to pull off. If your notches are of values negative 0.7875, you have to be careful not to overshoot or you'll spot dodge. Likewise, if your notches are of values negative 0.6625, if you don't move swiftly and all the way to the notch, you'll end up stuck on the platform holding shield. What this means is if you have shield drop notches that are essentially perfect in vanilla melee, your diagonal notches are of negative 0.6750. This is only two values away from negative 0.6500, which will keep you stuck on a platform. So if you move to your notch value somewhat slowly, or you don't move it all the way to the notch or some combination of both, even if you have proper negative 0.6750 notches, you'll get stuck like this. Because Slippy and all offline tournament setups use UCF, this means that you're at somewhat of a disadvantage for paying money for your shield drop notches, and on my Goom Wave, I actually intentionally miscalibrate my notches so that it's as easy as possible for me to shield drop on them. Long story short, unless your controller has values so skewed that you're stuck on a platform or you're spot dodging even on UCF, there's a good chance that you don't want to be spending money on shield drop notches in the current age. That's it for me today guys, definitely was a quick one, but I think it's worth clearing up the misinformation about things like this. Thanks as always for watching, please subscribe to the channel, and you can check out my Patreon for lessons, or follow me on Twitter at SSBM underscore Spark. See ya!